Okay. Hi, I'm Susan. And I'm Paula. And we're the Babushka sisters. Yep. Woo! We have been invited. Yeah. To be on a podcast. No, I feel like we've made it to Hollywood, you know? Yes. Because now we are on the Standing Still podcast with the Stephen Hoffa. We're going to go and get the show started. My name is Steve Hoffa, and this is the Standing Still podcast. We're glad to have you. Check it out. Yeah, and check it out. We're going to have the link in the description. Super cool guy. I yep. had a lot of jobs where it wasn't that I was the best at being that job. Right. It's that I was pretty good, and I was good at working hard. And You know, you know when you're not working hard and being efficient. And that's stealing. That's the same as stealing. He's gonna interview us. I'm a little nervous. Yes. I wonder if he's nervous. Oh, um, uh, I was gonna make a joke about you having a face for radio. Face for radio? <laughs> you know how they say, you know how they say, I've got a face for radio? Well, out with it then. And Get on with it. <laughs> this is perfect for Paula because she's got a face for radio. Yeah. I've done a lot of talking. You wanna turn it? <laughs> I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And Paula's you all, belong on radio. Yeah, I guess I'm. <laughs> Maybe, on the podcast. Maybe I am. Is it called radio? radio? Podcast radio? Steven, yeah. radio or podcast or YouTube show? Who are you? Both. Both. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steven, in advance for what you've gotten yourself into. <laughs> the Babushka sisters are here. Whether you like it or not. Here we go. <laughs> Got my knocking hand out. <laughs> Ready to roll. Ready to roll. <laughs> Steven! Hello! Hello! Hello. Let's close your door here. But, uh, no, it's. Um, there's something in the corner. So, okay. Of this room. We live in a world where there's, there's <laughs> people here that, uh, they like to inflict things that aren't always positive. I've taken measures yeah, to counteract is. those uh, really negative things. And so, in the corner next to the door, you know, people, they like to keep things. I keep a BB gun that's uh, shot down, so that way it would fit my shoulder when I was four. <laughs> and then uh, I keep a bat that just, in case I want to play baseball. But you're not yeah. going to tell the difference if no, I just you go, can't. is there anybody there? <laughs> Nobody's going to say that. Hold on. BB gun. Hold on. Let's reenact this. Paula, <laughs> Paula, come to the door. we got to do a reenactment of what this could possibly be. Nobody's, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna call you out on that. You know what I mean? So, now how'd you know that I mean? feel? That felt pretty real. Your heart's racing right, so it's fine. I like to see the studio. All right, we can do that. I just would feel a lot more comfortable if I carried this with me. Yeah, no, let's okay. do it. I, I, I would be uncomfortable if you didn't. So, okay. So microphone, you got, microphone, microphone, microphone. You have three microphones mm -hmm. for your guests. One microphone for me. This place looks so much bigger on YouTube too. There is angles that can be taken to make it look bigger and better than what it actually is. Take a seat, Susan, take a seat. Yeah, take a seat in the captions chair. Yeah. Kind of all around through here, there's three different cameras that I have set up, so they're Whoa. kind of set up on each individual nice. person. Um, for YouTube, we are on YouTube standing still. Kind of a big deal. Yes, yeah. yeah. and we're putting your, your description, your link in our description. So oh, everyone's going to sure. know where to oh go. Oh my gosh, I don't this. know what I'm going to do with all that attention. Ah, yes. But, all uh, 50 of you out there <laughs> watching. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you guys are doing way better than me, so don't even trip. But Did you hear that? We're doing better than him. Way better. <laughs> for the record. No, but uh, yeah, I've been having a, I didn't know how to do any of this. This was all passion built. Oh, so yeah. I had a, Learn how to edit audio, edit video. Yeah, that's right. It's tough. Um, it's a tough start. Rarely do I actually cut any of the conversation. It's pretty yeah. raw. And so... That's what's crazy about his show. He doesn't cut. So if you mess up or if you say something stupid... Once you or hit, like, yeah. oh, you you hit record, it's yeah, in there. That's Um, so Steve has a reveal for us. He's got a couple of ideas of things that we can flip. Yep. And look, Two he gets he so I, domestic. I, I get so like, domestic. You make it sound like a fixed cat. Like, no. so, this is our Steve. <laughs> no, I got a couple different items. They've been yeah. sitting in the corner uh -huh. of my room. I've been waiting to see what he has for us ever since we, we talked about talked coming about it. So yeah. today's the day. You know, yeah. there's just I'll something go. about it that just makes me giddy. You know what I mean? It it does. Does. Let's do this. Yeah, let's, let's do it. All right. Okay. We're pumped. We're pumped. Yeah. We're ready. Here we Let's go. do it. Let's yeah. see. What do we have? What, what is it? Wait. <laughs> There's two items there. Wait. There's two items there. Comics. You can take your pick. Okay. Or it's competition. Okay. Oh, you guys oh. Want to do. oh okay. So. The bookshelf, uh, both of these I got for free. The bookshelf my last roommate just left behind. Okay. And then the uh, spinning TV shelf. Right. Oh, it um, spins. Oh, it's so it rotates. Spins. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
um, that was, I was like helping a buddy move or mm. pick something else up from this older couple and they were like, oh yeah, you can have this too. All right, Paul, which piece do you want? This one will fit my car today. I don't have the bigger Oh yeah, I have the bigger car, so that makes sense. That makes <laughs> sense. So I'll I was take the big shot. If they both come in like a Corolla, <laughs> I just uh, signed my name to drive these out to uh, where they live. I right. have this purse. Yes. And so you can do this. And you can do this. <laughs> the bed's falling apart. You can do this. <laughs> So this thing is particle board and it's not in the best condition. I'm pretty sure I'm not keeping it a bookshelf. I want to do something super creative out of the box with this piece. I want to use its materials to make something in honor of the Standing Still podcast and something for his studio as a sort of icebreaker between him and the guests to warm them up before each podcast. So I've come up with the idea. If you all know the game Cornhole, pretty, pretty trendy right now, I think I'm going to make a mini studio sized version of Cornhole with the Standing Still logo. I think that'll be totally rad for the studio, perfect for the space. I think he'll be stoked. <laughs> to stand it up on the back, I just used some scrap pieces I had left over and Gorilla glued those on and fastened it uh, with more reinforcement using screws. I had the logo printed out at a local printing store. I can't believe how vibrant that the colors turned out. I'm, I was super stoked with the quality. And guess what? Guess who sells Mod Pods? The Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. They sell Mod Podge glue, which is usually seven bucks for, um, you know, about glue about this much. Um, I mean, the Dollar Store sells it in about an ounce and a half, two ounces. But if you know you're just gonna need it once that year, then the Dollar Tree is a, a really good place to go to, to scope out some Mod Podge glue. The next thing is the hole. Oh my goodness, I was so um, intimidated by making a perfect circle hole placed in the exact same spot for both boards, it really did intimidate me. I went ahead and used my husband for this one. He has a really cool attachment to go on our power drill that is a circular saw. And um, man, I got so nervous, I just had to use him as my stunt double for this one. And he ended up having a lot of trouble with it anyway. Um, he had to use a lot of muscle for this one because the blade wasn't so, so sharp. So. Uh, but he kept a steady hand and I think it turned out awesome. I thought it was a really cool touch to paint the inside of the holes uh, red. So it adds a little pop of color and a little more detail to the piece. For the bean bags, what a simple thing. I, I went to a um, craft store, local craft store, and I picked up some felt in the colors of the Standing Still logo. And I filled it with, guess where Cornhole gets its name? With corn kernels. So I, I actually Googled what to fill um, cornhole bean bags with and there is an official rule that you must use corn kernels. So I went ahead and did it the right way and I just um, glued it shut with a glue gun and it, it worked just fine. We played tons of rounds at home of cornhole and the bags never burst open. They seem pretty sturdy still. So pretty stoked with it. with a uh, TV cabinet slash stand, swivel stand. At first I thought I was gonna use the swivel part for something. I ended up deciding to go with um, a light uh, kind of fixture thing, piece, decoration. I don't know, something to display uh, the standing still logo. So what I did first was I took it all apart, dismantled it, kind of kept everything um, uh, all the pieces together, not breaking anything because I wasn't too sure what I was going to use, what I was going to uh, not need. So once I got everything dismantled, popped off the wheels, cleaned
cleaned everything up a bit, got off all the rest of the dust. Um, I started with the glass etching. So I got the glass etching cream. That stuff's really fun to use. The bottle of it was like eight dollars. Um, so I recommend trying it. A fun little easy project. Um, with whatever I had lying around. I got these LED lights off of Amazon for like less than $3, like $2.30 for a strip of LED lights. Um, all it needed was an adapter. I went to the thrift store, got an adapter for 99 cents. Um, thankfully it fit. So whatever you etch on the piece of glass is going to glow. I think it's a really cool effect. We finished the flips. Yep. We managed to take them back in one car. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Steve's like, they're like a third of the, maybe less than a third of the size they started out as. Pretty sure they're in somebody's purse. <laughs> yeah, I know. Steve's like, some parts are. How did you show up in one car? I gave you a bookshelf and a TV stand. Um, so he's gonna go hide while we set up and we are gonna surprise him. Yes, hopefully a good reaction. <laughs> no pressure. Hopefully. Yeah, no pressure there. All right, let's yeah. go. All right, Steve. <laughs> Come out and see your bookshelf and TV stand. Are you stoked? Do you know what you're looking at? Do you know what you're seeing? I got a uh, cornhole. cornhole with my logo on it. Yes. I'm actually really good at cornhole. I've got some marketing stuff, like yeah. some public marketing stuff I'm yeah. going to be shooting soon, and this is going to be perfect for it. Oh, cool, Like, no joke, this is going to be perfect. Oh, like, I'm cool. genuinely stoked right now. And then Paula's piece, which was your TV stand, is it actually lights up. I, I'm looking at the cord, I'm an electrician, <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the math in my head, ladies, and that baby lights up! <laughs> StandingStillPodcast.com. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, or our YouTube channel as well. Um, it's a lot of fun. And if you really want to know these ladies even more, we're just about to start. They have no clue what we're going to talk about. I have nothing written down, but it's, I'm so nervous. It's all good. All right. Check us out. All right. Let's go. Oh, wait. The traditional goodbye. Oh, yes. Oh. How did we forget? <laughs> no problem. No We love when viewers share their DIY project photos. This week we're featuring Lisa from Montana, USA and her super cool side table flip. <laughs> 